This video, we're gonna to talk to you guys about why your business is going to fail in 2018. Now, when we first started this whole journey, we went from learning about you know product, product sourcing, you know, building websites. It's been a long journey. You learned how to code, you taught yourself how to code yep. to, to build our website. HTML, CSS, PHP, JS. Mm -hmm. Um, I have my accounting degree. That yep. way I can do all of our, you know, the legal and the LLC and the accounting and the taxes. We've imported products from overseas and not, you know, like the mainstream Chinese websites. We've imported products, you know, using customs, using an LCL shipper, yep. um, big manufacturers, wiring payments. So, we, mm -hmm. you know, we've done, we've done a couple things, probably got our feet wet more than the average person. So here's why you're going to fail in 2018. You don't understand marketing, okay? the digital landscape is changing the way retail works and it's no secret that businesses are going out of business left and right especially in the retail space and the reason that you're going to fail at marketing in 2018 is you don't understand the difference between front end and back end and you don't understand what the cost of acquisition is per customer and how much are you willing to pay do you even know what i'm talking about and why you need both front end and back end yep and you how you're going to use those to make money okay so you have this business right and you're selling rocks Mm -hmm. And in order to sell rocks and internet, what you do is maybe you go to Instagram, you find someone that uh, can promote, you know, your rock business. You start an Instagram page on all these beautiful rocks mm -hmm. and um, maybe you do Facebook, some AdWords, maybe, maybe you do some, some Facebook ads. Maybe you throw up some YouTube videos on maybe you're doing why some, your rocks are really awesome. And, and you get sales. And you get sales. And then that's it. That's it. And then you have to go out there and you get more sales and then... That's it. That's it. In this business, the reason that you're going to fail is because you don't have a back end that's continuing to remarket to your existing customers and get them to buy from you again. It's no secret. I'm sure you're probably aware of this. It's a lot easier to sell someone that you've already sold to than it is to walk around with a bullhorn, per se, yelling, buy my fucking rocks. No right. one's going to buy your rocks. You know what I'm saying? Why should they buy your rocks? Now, how are you different than anyone else selling rocks? When you do your front end marketing so your instagram post your facebook post people are seeing you and it's that instant oh i, I like that rock i'm gonna buy it but not every customer is like that the majority yeah. of customers it takes them four five six times of seeing your product maybe seeing your ad maybe seeing your email before they'll buy yep. um on our stores the majority of our customers come back three or four times before, before they, we even get a purchase out of them yeah and okay. so what what you're doing on the front end is really good, but you're only going to get so many sales. You need to capture these people's email addresses. Yep. Email addresses, maybe. Either through Facebook Pixel or through email or through or YouTube like we're meeting. doing right now, remarketing. Right. You're going to see us again. Yeah. Guess what? You're going to see us again. Because you watched yep. our video, you're going to keep seeing our ads. Buy or our if there's an interest there, maybe, it's going to help you complete the action. Right. Yep. Or maybe you forgot and then you mm -hmm. see our ad and you're like, oh yeah, I wanted to buy that. Yep. And then, and it takes a I'm couple I'm sure you times. probably noticed that yourself. You know, you're on the internet, you click on something. Go to Grant Cardone's website, oh, click geez. on that. You'll see that motherfucker all over the internet. I see him everywhere. Every yeah. single page I go You won't be able to get away from him. Because he's yep. remarketing. He has all of his back ends set up. And he's got you in his funnel mm -hmm. and he wants to convert you. So he's going to keep pitching, pushing you and pushing and pitching mm -hmm. and pushing until you convert. Um, you're going to see that from a lot of these marketers. And it's interesting too, just as an anecdote, you know, you'll notice when you start getting into more of the entrepreneurship culture online, you got guys that are really good at selling, you got your Tom Hopkins, and you got guys that are really good at selling, you got your Cardones, who are also really good at marketing, but he doesn't talk about marketing. Mm -hmm. um, then you got your marketers like Alex Becker, you know, and the Shopify click. So who you got, are also really good at selling, Yep. but he doesn't really talk about selling. Yep. And then you got your yeah. clueless entrepreneurs that want to invent the next gizmo and they don't realize it's just easier to take an existing product and rebrand it and market it differently and acquire customers that way. So, so front end is all about kind of casting your net, trying to catch the fish and bring them in. Now back end, what you're doing on the back end is you have the customer's information and now you're going to remarket to them. It's not only display advertising like we were talking about before with Grant Cardone. It's going to be email yes. marketing. Mm -hmm. It's going to be videos. It's going to be... You know, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, yep. Pinterest, uh, Twitter. You need to use every single avenue that you can. And Especially the best when thing, they're free. It's free. Yep. It is free advertising, free marketing. Yep. 
Um, and then you are able to capture their information and then keep remarketing to them. You can also create clone audiences as well. People don't realize that. So once you get um, enough data, you can create you know, a buyer profile essentially, and then you can clone those buyer, this, this video is not about how to do that. We can make another video on we how could. to market. So what you do is you get the buyer's information, and then you can create a clone audience from that audience and then remarket, well, not, not remarket, you can market to new people Mm -hmm. that are like their current existing pool of buyers to bring them into that kind of sales ecosystem that you've created. So just to recap real quick here, you got the front end, which is, you know, you're casting the net, you're trying to get people into there. Maybe you, you you know, market to a hundred people, right? And your conversion rates like two to 3%, which is pretty mm -hmm. good. It's industry standard. Um, if you're higher than that, man, you're doing awesome. Um, so you get people into that net. Now they're engaged in your brand. Now you're having a conversation. You develop rapport with that, buyer, maybe you do something like we do in our businesses where we're going to give you something free, just pay shipping. And you build on that, um, that principle of reciprocity, right? You know, you feel like I've given you something and now you have to give me something back because here I am throwing value at you and throwing value at you and throwing value at you. And most people are they going to do when they get all that value, they're going to end up becoming customers. And so it's, you know, it's that social media is, it's, it's re-engaging through there. Maybe it's re-engaging through uh, email marketing. But what you're trying to do is not, back yeah, well, and there's just, you know, something else too to think about as well. And this is a good point is email marketing is not, Hey, we're having a sale. Oh, we've been guilty of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're having a sale. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're having a sale. Hey, we're doing this. That's like sending someone a steaming pile of shit. If you, yeah. and if you don't understand how, how that looks, sign up for, um, Sierra trading posts. Oh my gosh. Newsletter. Yeah. They have an email. Multiple emails, probably a, day. a couple times a day. It's like, oh, we're having sales, a sale. It's like, what sales. the fuck is and your it, price? Well, right. like, like, where does your price actually sit? Because you have a sale all the time. So is it really forty percent lower than your sticker? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to cheapening your product. And it's, then the yeah. sense of urgency mm -hmm. is gone because I know I'm just going to get another email in a yeah. couple of hours. Always, always, always be careful with discounts. Mm -hmm. People get addicted to them. They don't get addicted to free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're gonna do like free shipping or like, you know, you buy this, maybe you bundle products. Maybe you have a bunch of products, right? You know, you got 10 products. Three of them are selling really well. Bundle those three products together. Okay, there you go. Hey guys, you know, come today, today only, get these three products as a bundle, we'll do free shipping. When you start yeah. discounting or giving discounts, people mm -hmm. start expecting that and waiting for you to give your next discount. So here's why you're gonna fail in 2018 though, because you don't understand marketing, you don't understand the back end. Mm -hmm. These big companies that are gonna start moving into the digital space more aggressively, like Macy's and not any of these big corporations that sell retail products, they have a massive fucking back end of customer names and information that they can market to. And you know what you have? You have absolutely nothing because you've only been concentrating on the front end sales process and you have not been doing anything with your customer information. You don't even understand that the contact list that you have is probably the most valuable part of your business. We didn't understand we didn't, that we didn't get it. just recently. Yep. So. so that's why you're gonna fail in 2018. These bigger guys are gonna come into the space. Maybe their product maybe cost is... Yeah, well, here's why though. I mean, maybe their product cost, maybe they're selling a, okay, let's say they're selling, they're selling you a, um, a pencil holder. It's $10, what the retail price is. The unit cost is a dollar. How much can they spend to acquire a new customer and lose money on that sale? They can spend nine bucks a sale. Mm -hmm. They can keep doing nine bucks a sale until your little pencil holder business is no longer available because you in the can't market. Because you can't, that. yeah, what are you going to do? You're going to spend nine dollars for five years and make no money? Well, they do that until they push everyone out of the space and they capitalize on the existing customers that they've collected. Mm -hmm. No, you're done. So that's why you're going to lose in 2018. If you don't understand marketing, start building your contact list, start developing your brand's ecosystem. And start learning. And focus. Yeah, and start focus. learning. Learn how yep. to market. You gotta learn. Not just, you know. Man, we didn't know shit. Show your product. I know. We still don't know shit. If you like this content and you learned anything from it, be sure to comment below on what was helpful. That way we can continue doing this and, yep. and giving you guys good Like content. and subscribe. So that is our cursory explanation of marketing and why it's relevant to you. And why you yep. need to do it. Need to learn it mm -hmm. and implement it. Gary Vee has a good little thing on this too. I think he's talking we'll to that. What is what is the name of that guy he's talking to? He's like the bar guy. Oh, John. John. John something. John something. The guy. I'm gonna from watch the... this video next. Yeah. Help you guys out Link a lot. Link in the description. It's All really right. good.